Wayne here. Over at the Ram Man Inc. Today we're going to talk about the Mopar Bendix setup used on the B bodies 1966 through 1969. Back in its day, it was considered first class. and ahead of its time. Now, what are the drawbacks compared to a later disc brake swap and such and such? Number one, the wearable items are of the greatest concern. The pad are difficult to find. The pads are difficult to find. Centric came out with those semi-metallic units, but they are really harsh on the rotor, and you got to remember that those rotors, they were thin by today's standards, and they come in at just under an inch. And you need to chunk them at 940. 0.940 so they can tear those up you can find the original d19 pads at some places like break and equipment warehouse rob up there and on the internet the true actually original type pads so there's one problem the second problem is the rotors they the rotors are basically obsolete and they have been nearly unobtainable for 20 years. This is 2018. I have seen, like when the cars got really expensive, 2006, 7, whatever, when that Cuda sold for 3.2 million, that 70, I saw rotor discs going for up to $1,000 per disc. It is a two-piece design. Most people think that it's a one-piece design, but that is a rotor disc, and that is a hub, and they will separate by knocking out the studs. It is a rotor disc and a hub. They are two separate pieces. I don't care what Grandma told you. One of the other major drawbacks is these original Bendix calipers. They are extremely heavy and bulky. They are prone to leaking. The parts are hard to find. Rob and gang up there at Break and Equipment Warehouse in Minneapolis, Minnesota, they charge about six or eight hundred dollars to sleeve and rebuild these things. They know what they're doing. On top of all that, they have small pistons and they do not have the clamping force of a simple 70 pin caliper or a 73 to 76 sliding caliper with a 2.75 inch piston and uh, six uh, square inches of surface area they just cannot compete just can't do it so do I keep this stuff? If you've got an original car that you really love and was fortunate it came with disc brakes, mm, I don't know. Not when you can do a disc brake swap for some modern components for about modern replaceable components at the local auto parts store for about $600 or $700. You got to really think about it. Considering I sell the rotors for about 600 a pair, 700 a pair, you got to really thinking about it. If you've got a six-pack GTX or a Hemi GTX or something like that or a purple and white car or B5 blue and white or whatever, you probably ought to keep this stuff. If you're going to thrash your shit out of your car and drive it like a banshee like I do, 
I drive my Viper so hard it scares people. Then this is going to be inadequate for you. If you going to run a great big old Legend 528 blown Hemi, this is inadequate for you. So, God bless you. God bless America. And happy Mopar. Bye.